It slices, it lifts, and it serves. It's a pie server. At least it should do those things. So Adam's here. He's going to tell us which pie server won our testing. You know, Bridget, baking a pie is an act of love. Serving a pie neatly is an act of folly. Courage. <laughs> I have mutilated and maimed more than my fair share of defenseless pies in my day. And usually, I put the blame on a subpar pie server. This time, we're going to find the right one to use. We have this lineup of six different pie servers. The price range was $6.95 to $35.95. There were six different types of whole pies that testers used these on. Three of them were homemade. That was a North Carolina lemon pie, a double crust apple pie, and a chocolate cream pie mm. with a graham cracker crust. So you have different filling textures and crust textures going on there. They also tried them on three different store-bought pies. Another double crust apple pie, a pecan pie that had that hard layer of nuts across the top, and a pumpkin pie that was sort of a custard pie. The first thing that testers decided is, if you want to just use one utensil to cut through a pie, a lot of people will pick up a knife and use that and then a separate server. Sure. But if you just want to use one utensil, it's got to have serrations on the side of the pie server like this. Doesn't matter what type of serrations, but without serrations, you are not going to cut neatly through a top crust or a layer of pecans. Sure. Now, I want you to give this one a try. This one? Yeah, would you serve us a piece of pie, please? All right, got a nice apple pie here. That is beautiful. And thank you for taking that first slice out. I wanted to make things a little easier for you. Nobody wants to take the first slice of pie it's out. It's always a disaster. All right, so. Oh my God, that is looking good. There we go. That is looking really good. Not bad. I've got not a couple pieces of all. apple in there, but not yeah, too bad. A little bit, not yeah. too bad. Why don't you try this one and see if you notice any differences? All right. Oh, I see. I I see an issue here. Yep. <laughs> well, so this is a pie that you serve with a fork and knife out of the dish, <laughs> and a lot of ice cream over it. At this point, I would just call it a cobbler. You know, <laughs> the problem with this pie server. Number one was the length of the blade. It was seven inches long. Mm -hmm. Most pie plates are nine inches long. So all that length was not optimal for negotiating a nine inch pie plate. Number two, the width of the blade was only an inch and seven eighths. It was actually pretty narrow and testers found that it didn't always provide enough support to the slice of pie that you were transporting from the pie plate to the serving plate. And then a big problem was the handle for a couple of reasons. First, you can see that it's set at the same plane as the blade, mm -hmm. and that really limited leverage for getting underneath that bottom crust as you experienced. Totally noticed that it would not let me get all the way down in there. And that's the length and the handle angle going at you. Also, the handle was metal. It was a little thin. It didn't provide quite as much grip. Now that first one fixed all of those. This is the first one that you tried. So you can see the shape of the blade differ. It's four and a half inches long, two and a half inches wide, so you get better support underneath right. your piece of pie when you're moving it from the pie plate to the serving plate. Also, the handle is set at a different plane from the blade. It's a little bit above, so you have better leverage for getting underneath the bottom crust. And the handle is also just generally bigger, beefier, stickier, easier to hang on to. Testers really preferred it, thought it was more comfortable. The offset is key because I think that's why I left half of that pie behind. I'll take care of that when we're done with this. Though. <laughs> we'll clean up that little pile there. <laughs> this is the winning pie server. This is the OXO Steel Pie Server, $9.99. It's serrated actually on both sides. So whether you're a righty or a lefty, you can cut through nuts or a top crust without a problem. It's got a well-dimensioned blade, the right kind of handle. The one caveat with this pie server is that because of the serrations, this one and any server with serrations, was not all that gentle on our favorite pie plate, which is non-stick coated. Because it's metal. Because it's metal. If you're concerned about that, testers also recommended this. This is the OXO Good Grips Nylon Flexible Pie Server. It's $6.95. It's got serrations. It had a little tougher time getting through nuts or a top crust, mm -hmm. but it was a lot gentler on a non-stick surface. Great, so no ruining your pie plate, and that means more pie on the table for us? as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to need a pie server for all those pies. So our winner was the OXO Steel Pie Server. It's $9.99. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make 
or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>